Only on two, today is a solemn one for a West Garfield Park family on the west side. It is now one year since their loved one was gunned down behind their family home. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno has their quest for justice for Trevon Marco Henderson. I still be in contact with the police every three months. I'll check in and ask. Is there any updates? Is there any leads? Leticia Thompson is talking about her hope for leads and updates in her son's murder case. On July 28th of 2022, her son, Tyvon Marco Henderson, had just gotten home from his job at Walmart. He lived here on the 4000 block of West Wilcox in the West Garfield Park neighborhood. I'm living in a nightmare. I'm still here waiting for him to come in the house and say something to me, but he's not. Henderson went to the parking lot behind their home a few minutes after one in the morning. His family thinks he forgot his cell phone in his car. Eight bullet holes remain in the parking lot gate that was peppered by gunfire. Tyvon, who was just 25 years old, was shot seven times. His family thinks it was a case of mistaken identity. The family spent the past 12 months raising money, $5,000. They want to give that money to the person who has information about the individual who ran through this alley and fired the shots that killed Tyvon. If anyone do have any information, know anything, just, just please say something. Let me tell you story. Yeah. Henderson was a drag performer, singer, and social media content creator. The recent graduate of Virginia Union University earned a degree in entrepreneur management. He was also a passionate member of Chicago's LGBTQ community. His aunt is setting up a scholarship fund for CPS students who want to be content creators. She's also planning yearly giveaways for young people in the LGBTQ community. That was one way, again, that we can continue just to let him live on and to honor him and let the students know that they do matter and that people do care about them and support them. And through these planned acts of kindness, they're also keeping Henderson's memory alive while detectives continue searching for his killer. Suzanne LeMignot, CBS 2 News.